Welcome to this video on VPA 5.0 for trading view. This is an upgraded version of the earlier VPA analysis. As you can see there are two changes which are quite visible. One is the status window on the top right hand corner and then alert window at the left hand side bottom corner. The status window has got two rows. The top row contains the status of the bar whether it is up close, mid close, low close, the volume, low volume, high volume, average volume etc. and the spread, the status of the spread that is the whether it is average wide spread or narrow spread and the second row gives you the status of the trend major trend, minor trend and immediate trend whereas the alert window provides the details of the last alert which came the VSA signal which came we will look at the details a little later. So let us look at all the new features. So let's go to the settings. You can have a black background which was there even before. Now you can also show the trend bands. In fact, these trend brands are no more required as the status of the trend is already indicated in the status window. So this will not be required anymore. And a new addition is the strength band. The strength band has got three colors, green, orange and blue. The green of course for bullish I mean it is strong, the orange for weak and the blue for neutral and you can always see there is a transition from strength to weakness or weakness to strength is through mostly it is through a neutral period. You can plot the 50 day moving average, you can plot the 200 day moving average. The new additions are the facility to plot the VWAP and also you can plot the EMAs. The source of the EMA can be close or pivot. Pivot is the average of high plus low plus close. This gives an average value for the day or the of the bar the average value of the bar. You can also change the period as you need for the three EMAs short term, mid term and long term. Then you have the trend analysis window which was there even before. Now you can switch on and off various signals as you want. Suppose you think some of the signals like no supply or no demand or very frequent and you don't need to see them. So you can switch off them as you want and also these signals or the switches have a tooltip which provides the details of that particular signal. An uptress bar is a sign of weakness, high volume adds weakness, a down bar after up thrust 
adds weakness. So these are some description of this particular signal. As you hover the mouse over these tooltips will be displayed. So this is a good feature where you can switch off some of the signals which you think you don't need. We have added two more signals here. One is a two bar reversal. So two bar reversal can be on the upside or the downside and it can be on high volume or low volume because the descriptions will be provided in the alert window as the signals appear. And the next one is an ease of movement that is if a high volume is unable to move the price it would indicate a supply or a demand area. So this signal also has been added. Next is the alert window. Perhaps this is one of the most important feature which we have added. As you can see this window has displays two rows or the two last VSA signals but you can Im increase them as you need. You can have a maximum of up to 10 signals and these alerts have colors. The indications of strength are given green color. Indications of weakness is in red color and the warning signals are given yellow color. So this is a very good feature which will help to understand what is the VSA signal which has come and you can have a log of up to last 10 signals and whenever there are multiple signals coming on the same bar all the signals will be displayed. For example as you can see here it happened on the 30th the three signals so on the same bar you can see all the three signals but of course you may have only one or two indications here but you can see all the three signals here so it will give a much better picture of the VSA signal so this is a very uh, good feature which we have added you can also plot the support and resistance lines as you can see now the support and resistance lines the resistance lines are dotted lines blue color the support lines are in red color and you can also plot high volume lines so these are the lines where high volume occurred or the bars where the high volume occurred and this is where the price could react hence this is a good signal to work with so these two features also have been added so this is in a brief about the new features I hope this uh, new script will help you in your trading kindly if give your feedback and suggestions you can mail me at kartikmarar at outlook.com thank you very much